Hi, I'm Alex. We're going to talk about the charging options that we had to decide for our Model 3, which we got about a month ago. We have three options for charging our Model 3. Um, all right, so um, all Teslas come with a built in charger. So um, they provide a connector for you to connect the electricity from your house or wherever you're charging from to the car. That's why they're called connectors and not chargers as some people call them, including myself sometimes by mistake. So charging options are, we can use the um, regular household outlets, which are about 110 volts. And um, you can connect that to the car using the mobile charger that's included. Um, Another option would be to have a 240 volt outlet um, referred to as a NEMA 14 installed in your garage and using the mobile connector, you can connect that to the car and you can get a much more um, powerful charge which will give you about mm, 37 miles per hour of charge, whereas the um, regular 110 outlet will give you at most five miles per hour and then there's a the third option you can purchase the tesla wall connector for five hundred dollars and that can give you up to uh, 44 miles per hour um, though when i connected mine i actually got up to 45 miles per hour so a lot of this information is actually um, available on the Tesla website. Uh, it's a little tricky to find um, if you want to look for it yourself. It's tesla.com and then you go to um, on the bottom uh, tab for um, forums and from there you can go to support and from there uh, is charging options. Uh, you'll be able to find a chart that looks like this. We decided to get the Tesla wall connector and for a couple of reasons. Number one, it was just a little bit more than um, installing the NEMA 1450 outlet. In fact, it was just a difference of $55 plus the cost of the wall connector, which is another $500. Um, I just wanted to have the best charging option available for this car. Um, also, I have to admit, I just really love the way the wall connector looks and um, we'll show you that in just a second. Okay. So this is charging the Model 3 with the included um, mobile connector. Let's see how much charge um, it's gonna get. Oh, I'll let you go inside. So after about 14 minutes, um, it's still charging at four miles per hour, uh, which is not bad, but um, I could have sworn I saw five miles per hour in, um, earlier. Ultimately, uh, we decided on the Tesla wall connector and for that we had to hire an electrician to install it for us. There were uh, two options that were presented on the Tesla website. Uh, one of them didn't come out to our area so that left us with only one and they were called um, Elemental Energy. They were very professional and best of all very knowledgeable um, so they presented us with two quotes. One for the NEMA 1450 outlet, and um, here's the um, quote that they presented us. Basically, um, that was uh, $1,215. And then um, the other quote is for the Tesla wall connector installation. It's $1,270. 
we decided on getting the wall connector and um, I'll show you the installation in a minute, but I think they did a very professional job for okay, us. With the Tesla wall connector. And that green tells me that it's charged and locked in. Okay, so this is with a Tesla wall connector and uh, we're currently at 28 miles per hour and uh, trending upward. This should go up to 44 miles per hour and in fact I have seen it up to 45 miles per hour. Okay, so let's go ahead and take this out. Um, I just want to show you the installation for the wall connector. Um, we had the electrician come out and the first thing they had to do was install a 60 amp breaker, which is right here. And um, they routed the power through a box here and through a conduit and you can follow it, follow it, follow it, follow it, and it goes up. Up, 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 and then over that way, and it comes back down here, and here's the wall connector. So uh, let's take the protective cover off, and this is the uh, 24 or 25 foot connector, uh, which um, rolls up pretty nicely. So that's our video on charging the Tesla Model 3. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to uh, include those in the comment section. And if you found this video helpful, please uh, click like and subscribe. Thank you.